King Cumber Colts, first versus fifth. Both teams with plenty to play for. Wyong clinging on to top spot by a point at the moment. As for King Cumber, they're looking to seal the finals berth. This is the penultimate round of the season. So a big game for both clubs here today. You see Wyong making their way out onto the field at the moment. We're on through the two teams. We'll start with the Wyong Roos. At fullback, we have Josh Mantellato on the wings, Kai Martin and Jake Sekluna. In the centres, Luke Dolbel and Zane Rickett. At 5'8", Jack Burriston. At halfback, the 19, Chris Centrone comes in to replace Terence Siu Siu. In the front row, we have Jake Lewis and Jack Lottie. And at hooker, Mitchell Williams. In the back row, Tani Mahon and Wyatt Shaw. And locking down the scrum for the Wyong Roos is Brock Molan. On the interchange bench today, we have Jared Kessler, Dylan Clark, Greg Wisham, Nathan Clark, and they are coached by Anthony Clark. And the King Cumber Colts, a couple of changes for them as well per the program. At fullback, we have one Kyle Lang. On the wings, we have Jackson Stubbs and Blake Donkin. In the centres, we have Sam Paul in the three and Mitchell Clark in the six. At 5'8", the 20, Bradley Bennett. And at halfback, Fletcher Berry. In the front row, we have Brendan Hurd and Aja Roberts. At hooker, Ian Henderson. In the second row, we have Matt Hurd and Jake Shearer. And locking down the scrum for the Colts, Mark Byrne. On the interchange bench today, Jake Hardman, Brody Cooper, Logan Wiley and Alex Rosario. And they are coached by Shannon Woodley. A win here today would just about see the Colts into the finals for 2019. Be a tough ask against a Wyong team that's only lost one game this season. Playing on what is the bowling green of Wyong Rugby League Club. A field in perfect condition today. Little breeze from left to right on your screen. I'm going to observe a minute silence here before we kick off. Thoughts are with Julie Bob Jr., Turtle Rusty Rocket, Bob's grandchildren, and many, many friends at this time. Valet Bob Holloway. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So we're not too far away from kickoff here. Central Coast Rugby League, round 17. Bar TV's match of the round. Make sure if you're tuning in on Bar TV, let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. Get back to some of those comments a bit later on. Referee for today is Jack Greentree and the touch judges, Brianna Davies and Pat Webb. We're not too far away from kickoff. Wyong get us underway through Mantellato. It's a high kickoff. It's well taken down there by the Colts. And it's a six, Mitchell Clark. Oh, we've got a late replacement for the uh, touch judges. Ashton Styles has come in for Brianna Davies. And a knock on in the play the ball tackle too. And that's something that the Colts can't afford to do is invite Wyong onto the attack. Early mistake here from the Colts. An opportunity for Wong to post first points. Done plenty of that this year. They've scored over 500 points so far this season. They racked up 94 last week against Northern Lakes. So they're certainly in try scoring form as they win the scrum feed and they go through Burriston. White Shaw will. Be brought down about 30 metres out from the Colts line on tackle one. Burriston in the dummy half. And he finds Molan and Molan beats the first man, but the defence comes again. 
He'll play it 20 away centre field. Williams in a dummy half now. He goes to the right. Finds Dole ball through the hands. Mantelato chiming in from the back. A nice legs tackle there. He's only 10 away though, Mantelato. Comes to Lottie. Lottie with a short ball and Wong will score the first try, will they? Yes, they do. They crash over. Jake Lewis right next to the right upright. Beautiful short ball from Jack Lottie. And the Ruse hit the front early on. 4 0 with a kick to come. And a blistering start here for the Wong Ruse. Mantelato should throw this one over with his eyes closed. Went to the right and then they came back towards the posts and big Jack Lottie attracted numbers. A beautiful short ball to his front row partner in Jake Lewis. He had enough strength to carry one over the line with him. Stating the uh, obvious, but I'm sure King Cumber wouldn't have been after that start. Mantelato moves in now. And the flags are up, 6 0. Three minutes gone here at Wong Rugby League Club. He adds to his tally of the season. That's 214 points now for Josh Mantelato on the season. King Cumber to get us back underway. It's a shallow restart. Difficult to deal with. Mahon does well and he played about 28 out from his own line on tackle one. Who's now making their way up towards halfway. That's Lottie again. Takes three to bring him down. They eventually do that. He'll play it a couple of metres shy of halfway. As they come to the left now. Molan. And a solid shot there by Brendan Hurd, who did well to hang on. Bennett in on the tackle as well. They kick early in the count. And sits up horribly for King Cumber, and Wong will score another try. What a horrible bounce. Jake Sakluna, Johnny on the spot. Why on go coast to coast? That's 10 points to nil with a kick to come. Try scored by Wong, number five, Jake Sakluna. Poor old Blake Duncan. The, the rugby league ball can be cruel at times. That one sat up on its end. Jake Sakluna, like a thief in the night. Pinches that try. I mentioned earlier they racked up 94 last week. They're in try scoring form, the Ruse. Second last round of the season. They're really finding form heading into the finals. Mantelato strikes that one and the flags are up again, 12 0. Two from two for Josh Mantelato. Ruse 12, Cold Kick and score. And it wasn't that bad of a defensive set from King Cumber. It was the, the kick on the end of it that cost them. Left a muscle up again here in defence. This kick off a bit deeper. Goes down and Lottie will have the first carry back. 
Man, a good shot by the King Cumber defence. Aja Roberts in on the tackle. Williams comes down the wide blind side. Wyatt Shaw will play at 12 shy of halfway. Might have been a little bobble there. No, play on. Williams kicks from inside the 40, looking for a 40 20. Great kick from Williams. I think it was Burrison who got into dummy half, actually. They have a very similar haircuts. And Wong are going to go on the attack again. They lead 12 points to nil after seven minutes. Oh, I think they're going to give the scrum here to Kingcumber by the looks of things. Must have just been outside the 40. The King Cumber feed. Henderson goes across and King Cumber get a use of the ball for the first time in five or so minutes. I'll play at 20 out from their own line. Matt Hurd in the 11. Quick play the ball from Hurd. It's Brendan Hurd now. Play it on his own 40 as Henderson goes down the short side. Little dummy there from Mark Byrne. Wasn't fooling anybody. And we've got a penalty here for the Colts, so this will help their cause. First opportunity for King Cumber to go on the attack today. Trailing 12 points to nil. A little bit too much work there in the play of the ball from Lottie. Cumber will start this set. 35 out from the Wyong line. King Cumber themselves coming off a big win last week. 60 points to 12 over Rarimba. Looking to consolidate that fifth and final spot in the final series for 2019. Matt Hurd with the first carry. He brought down 28 away on tackle one. Henderson out of dummy half. Goes to Brendan Hurd. It's three of them to bring him down. They're inside the 20 here, the Colts. Tackle to Henderson again. Comes to Clark. Clark tucks it under the arm and takes a line on. He'll play it 10 away. Henderson again. Goes short to Bennett. Bennett now on the charge. Bennett for the line. A wild defense stands firm. Henderson goes short underneath. Wild defense was alive to the danger. Shearer going close. This will be the last tackle. Henderson in a dummy half. Comes to Clark. Clark with a little kick in behind, looking for the repeat set and gets it. Lovely little kick there, Mitchell Clark. King Cumber get an opportunity to build some pressure. Next best result there from Clark. Nice little touch on the kick. It'll be long to get us back underway from underneath the goalposts. Wyong repping the pink socks today. Women in league ground it is this weekend. Mantelado will get us underway. That one travels about 40 on the fly into the breeze. That's Roberts on the carry. He'll play at 25 away on tackle one. Henderson in at dummy half. Goes to Shearer. Shearer's met by three and pushed backwards. Good defense from the Ruse. Quick play the ball over here for Shearer. Mark is out of play. Henderson out of dummy half goes back to Shearer. Picking up easy beaters there, the Colts. Henderson again. Comes to Bennett. Bennett to Clark. Clark finds the fullback Lang. Lang, they go through the hands. They've got the numbers. They'll score in the corner here, the Colts. The Colts strike back. Jackson stubs with the try. They put it through the hands. Stripped them for numbers. And Jackson stubs, crosses. 12 points to four with a kick to come. Lovely play from the Colts. Use the numbers. They just had one left over on that far side. 
Jackson Stubbs had about 10 metres to go. Clear pasture in front of him and scores in the corner. And after a fast start from the Ruse, the Colts hit back. It'll be Sam Paul to try and add the extras from right up against that far touch line. Good response from the Colts. A couple of early tries to the Ruse. They go down, force a repeat set. Off the back of that. Cross in the corner. Big kick here for Sam Paul. He leads the Colts in points this season on 84. So he moves in now. Strikes it low and hard. It comes back around, but not far enough. Conversion unsuccessful. So it remains 12 points to four. Wyong over Kingcumber. Central Coast Rugby League round 17. Bar TV's match of the round. Dan McCamley on the mic. Let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from if you're watching on the Bar TV live feed. Mantelado will get us underway. Roberts now with the carry back, and he's met in a good shot. He bounces off it, though. Roberts still going. Brought down just shy of his own 20 on tackle one. Heard. Be brought down 25 away from his own line. Henderson with the dummy. Picks up. Eight or nine metres. And they'll kick early in the count here. King Cumber after points. It's over the top of Mantelado. Gets a dodgy bounce himself, but fields it on the third attempt. He'll play at 20 away from his own line. Got a handy little breeze behind their backs in this first half, King Cumber. Sakluna brought down 20 shy of halfway. Molan now. He's wrestled to the ground. Williams in a dummy half. Jake Lewis, the opening try scorer. He'll play it right on halfway. Last tackle. Williams now. Finds Burriston. Puts it up. It'll sit up in the breeze. The fullback comes forward and takes it well. Kyle Lang. He's pushed back by the chasers there from Wyle. Donkett will play it. will tackle two. Bennett out of dummy half now. As King Cumber look to work it away from their own try line. Stubbs plays it. They go to the left. Henderson will kick out of dummy half, right on the 40, kicks long. Mantelado comes across, gets a kind bounce this time. Mantelado goes across field and he'll be picked up and carried backwards and dumped on his back by three Colts defenders. Now it's Wyong's turn to work it away from their own end. Rickett plays the ball. It's Kai Martin coming in off his wing. Goes to Lewis again. Lewis up over the 40. Good charge there from the big man. Williams out of dummy half. Mahon now. Uh, Molan, sorry. Molan will play it inside King Cumber territory. Last tackle. So come to Burriston. Burriston puts this one up. It's a shallow one. It'll... Sit there. No, it won't. It's well taken by Blake Duncan. Wasn't going to let that one bounce. Well done by the winger. 
Fletcher Berry with a run out of dummy half. Burns wrestled to the ground right on halfway for the Colts. Couple of tackles left here in this set for King Cumber. Just winning the field position battle at the moment. Henderson comes to Brendan Hurd. Hurd will get King Cumber on the front foot and a penalty for a strip. Another good opportunity here for the Colts. Center field, 40 out. Trail 12 points to four in this one. And after a fast start from Wyong, King Cumber right back in this one. Pulled a kick for touch. Finds a line, 20 out from Wyong's try line. Chance here for the Colts. After a ball, there we are. It's Fletcher Berry takes the first run. Good to see from the halfback. Shearer now on the charge inside the 10. That one's been put on the deck. It'll be play on for the minute. Why well, I'm looking to counter attack from their own end, and they've got some space out on the right hand side. Chance goes begging for the Colts. Kai Martin will be brought down 30 out from his own line on tackle one. Burriston looking to take the line on, but nobody falling for the dummy as Molan now goes through the hands of Mantelato. He's met by Bennett. They do enough to wrap him up. That's not the best play of the ball from Josh Mantelato, and he knows it. Just tried to play it a bit too quick. We'll have a scrum feed right on halfway here for King Cumber. 12 points to four. They trail Wyong at the moment. It'll be Bennett to feed the scrum. Deep to the left here, the Colts. Go that way through Henderson. Goes underneath the pole. Tackle one. Five metres inside Ruse territory. Henderson finds the fullback Lang. Yeah, 16 out there for King Cumber, Logan Wiley. Go at the back to Bennett. Bennett short ball to Shearer. Good tackle there from Burriston. Down low. Henderson now out of dummy half. A little bit of a juggle comes to Shearer. Shearer throws a couple of dummies. Oh, and we've got a penalty here for King Cumber. Not square at marker. So Wong happened to do a little bit of defense here. Henderson in a dummy half. Goes to Bennett. Bennett out the back. They go through the hands. It's a 16 Wiley. And another penalty. King Cumber pouring on the pressure here. Goes to Hurd. Matt Hurd looking for the line. He'll play it only metres away on tackle one. Henderson out of dummy half goes for the line. Henderson will score. Ian Henderson gets the ball down. No, he doesn't. I thought he'd scored for all the tea in China then. Clark's had that one stripped and they're certainly racking up the penalties here while... The referee's going to call the captain out for a chat. Right. 
This could be the old official warning. So I've got time out. Settle. have been the unofficial warning wasn't quite an official one referee telling the skipper to clean things up down this end it'll be Henderson to get us back underway Let's, I think there's an injured player Behind that right upright. As Henderson takes the tap. Goes to Hurd. That Hurd will play it five away. Henderson again. Find Wiley. Wiley's only two metres away. Henderson now to dummy half. Comes to Clark. Clark back on the inside. Well read there by the Ruse. That was Williams on the tackle. Comes to Bennett. Bennett finds Lang. Lang for the line. Lang scores this time. They won't be denied again. Kyle Lang with the try. 12 points to eight, and the Colts are on the comeback. Yeah, plenty of numbers there, Wyong, but Lang with a good turn of pace, sliced through and had enough momentum to get him across the stripe. Kyle Lang with a try. Looks like that might be his first try for the season, Kyle Lang. He's off the nudie run with a round to go. Another tough kick here for Paul in breezy conditions at Wyong. So Wyong got out to a 12 points to nil lead after seven minutes. King Cumber have fought their way back into this one. 12 points to eight. Sam Paul with a chance to make it 12-10. He moves in, strikes it. It's going to float over the crossbar. Lovely kick there from Paul. Just started at that left upright and let the breeze do the rest. 12 points to 10. Game on here at Wild. Tolado gets us underway. Another high kickoff up into the breeze. That'll be heard. He'll be tackled 15 out from his own line on tackle one. Comes to Wiley. King Cumber without one of their starting front rowers today and Joel Hullett. The boys out there at the moment really stepping up for the Colts. I think some good meters. Henderson out of dummy half now, looking to pinch some more as he goes to Wiley again. Last tackle, and they'll go to Clark. Clark will kick high. Looking to pin Mantelato up against the touchline. It's a good kick. Well taken by Mantelato. King Cumber can really compress here. Kai 
Martin comes in off his wing. Relieve the big forwards from the ruse. We play it 20 out from his own line. Comes to Rickett. Another outside back. Coming in for some work. Play it just shy of the 30. 14 out there and Jared Kessler for the ruse. Kessler will play it 35 out from his own line. Last tackle. Comes to Burriston. Kicking into the breeze. He finds Kyle Lang on the bounce. And Lang will bring it back. That breeze certainly playing its part here today. King Cumber have enjoyed the better field position. Why I'm finding it tough to get down the other end at the moment. Barry plays it and they go to Shearer. Shearer is brought down five metres inside Wyong Territory. 17 out there, Alex Rosario for King Cumber. This will be the last chance to put up an attacking kick. The pressure's coming. Clark does well and puts it up high. It's a wobbly one. It'll be tough for Mantellato who takes it well. Wiley down on the chase, gets to him first. He'll play it 15 out from his own line, Mantellato. It's a clooner now. Met by three Colts defenders. That's the 19 out there, Chris Centrone. Wyong now starting to get a bit of a roll on in this set, up to halfway. This is a good set for the Ruse. A couple of quick play the balls back to back. Molin out of dummy half. This will be the last tackle. Molin in the dummy half again. Comes to Burriston who puts it on the deck. Stubbs will feel the kick and he'll play it 20 out from his own line. Much better set there from the Ruse. Can they back it up with some stiff defence? Comes to Bennett. Bennett through the hands and Rickett was up in the face of, I think it was Shearer. Now it's King Cumber's turn to struggle, although they pick up 10 or 12 metres there. This will be the last tackle. Comes to Lang. Lang kicks long. Mantelato traps with the foot. It goes a bit too far for Mantelato. He does well to recover. Risky business there from the fullback. Bennett down there on the chase. Would have had his heart in his mouth for a second there, Mantelato. A bit of an arm wrestle here at the moment. Both teams going set for set. Wyong now make their way up towards halfway through Kessler. Williams out of dummy half. Molan, short ball. They've found a bit of space. Look, he'd been taken down by a sniper there. Luke Dolble. Might have been a hint of obstruction. I think that might have been why he stopped his run. That one's trapped on the legs by Stubbs. Twelve ten here at Wyong Rugby League Club. Wyong got out to a twelve nil lead. King Cumber have fought their way back into it. And a penalty against King Cumber. Interesting to see what this is for. We've got Henderson being called out. Number five. Number five. Oh, let me do it, please. As we see the replay, I didn't really He's over here now. see a lot in that. Right, so. You've been tackled here. I've made my decision. I've said you're milking. You know what you all said. I'm not going to repeat it because we're live on the microphone. We don't need it anymore. If you're going to have another crack or anyone else in the team wants to have another crack, we'll have 10 in the bin. Yes, we have lost the ball. It's going to be... No, it's a penalty to Wyong. 
for, the, for what he said to me next. Yeah. All right. So a bit of back chat there from the Colts. Referee won't be having any of that. Penalty to the Wong Roos. The first time in a long time, Wong with an opportunity to go on the attack. We're inside the final 10 minutes of this first half. It's been a long time since they've seen this end of the field, Wong. Got a chance here to extend their lead. Tackle one, 15 away. Comes to Molan. Molan through the hands. Burrison now. Burrison beats one. Burrison for the line. And the Colts defence scrambles and gets there. Got options both sides here for Williams. He goes to the right through Molan. Molan off the right. Goes to the line. He's pretty close, Molan. Williams again. Finds Dolble. Dolble to Mantellato who steps and he's wrapped up around the legs. Good tackle there from Clark. Williams in a dummy half. Dolble now. Dolble for the line. Dolble will get there, I think. He will. Plants it down on the line. And Luke Dolble scores his 21st try of the season and extends the lead for Wyong. 16 points to 10 with a kick to come. And Luke Dolbel scoring tries for fun this season. Going at better than a try a game. And Henderson very animated there with the referee. It was the penalty against King Cumber that gifted Wyong field position and possession. They certainly didn't muck around the ruse. Only a few tackles later and Luke Dolble crosses for his 21st try of the season. Mantellato, who's never in a rush to take these kicks. We'll line up this one. Sixteen points to ten. This to take them out to an eight point lead as he moves in. Strikes it, flags are up. He doesn't miss those. 18 points to 10 now, Wyong lead King Cumber. Central Coast Rugby League to his cup. Around 17 action here live on Bar TV Sports. Big clash for Wyong next week as well. Taking on Erina, who is sitting third at the moment. And that will more than likely be for the minor premiership. They sit a point in front of the entrance. That one's kicked off and it goes deep into the in goals. Nathan Clark will bring it back. Mahon now to the 20. Williams out of dummy half. Kessler will play it. 28 away from his own line as they come to the left through Molan. Brock Molan will carry two defenders with him up towards the 40. Henderson comes in to finish the job off. Goes to Kessler again. Kessler with a lovely offload. Finds Shaw. 
Shaw's up over halfway. He's up to the 40 now, Shaw. Last tackle here for Wyong. Williams out of dummy half, goes down the short side. Lang comes across and gets a kind bound. Beats the first tackler in Rickett as well, Lang. Rickett comes again. Good kick return there from the fullback. Hearing in the background that it's Kyle Lang's debut, that would explain why he's only scored the one try this year. Been impressive so far on his debut, the fullback. Burn will play it a couple of metres shy of halfway. Comes to Henderson, who kicks over the top, finds the grass. Might have wanted that one to stay in. Trickles out over the touchline, and Wyong will have a scrum feed 20 metres out from their own line. It's be ticked down towards half time. Six and a half minutes to go. After the first 10 minutes, you thought it might have been a cricket score. Wyong jumped out to an early 12 0 lead. Kingcumber fighting back. Getting it back to 12 points to 10. Wyong extending their lead not too long ago. That's how we got to 18-10. Dolble again. Good charge there from the centre. And earns his team a penalty as well. Too long in the tackle, so good run there from Luke Dolble. Mantellato to try and find touch. He does so. Just shy of halfway. Big set of six here for the King Cumber side. I feel like they're right in it if they can keep Wyong at bay until half time. Weems out of dummy half goes to Mullen. Mullen tucks it under the arm this time. Weems again. Comes to Burriston. Nathan Clark will play at 30 away from the Colts line. Williams out of dummy half. Goes to Mantellato, who finds a bit of space, gets the offload to Mahon. Mahon's still going. He's finally wrapped up. Williams again. Goes to Molan. Heavily involved, Brock Molan. Playing as that ball playing forward. He'll play it five away on the last. Williams in a dummy half. Goes himself, puts the kick in. Looks for Mantellato. It rebounds back to Williams. And I think the referee's going to give this. Mitchell Williams with the try. Wyong with a little bit of luck. Mitchell Williams was Johnny on the spot. Just had to fall on it. And he extends Wyong's lead. 22 points to 10 with a kick to come. You see here the little kick in behind. It was 50-50. Even if Mantellato did get a touch, it looked to have gone backwards. And we've got to slow tackle. All right? There hasn't been many against you. With just under four minutes to go in this first half. I can, I can, I can completely understand the frustration in that. And Henderson. That hasn't touched Josh. Right? It's been a knock on from your player. Having a word with the referee about that try and referee explaining to him as he saw it touch off the King Cumber player, knock on, and Williams was there to plant the ball in the end goals. And Henderson could get a gig as a lawyer. Nonetheless, it's Josh Mantellato with a conversion pretty much right in front. Looking to take the score now to 24 points to 10. And you just hope that that try doesn't dent the spirits of the Colts too much. They've been competitive in this first half, King Cumber. So the flags are up. 
24-10. Two and a half to go here in this first half. King Gumba not in any real rush to get play back underway. Paul does get us back underway. It goes down deep and it'll be Kessler to bring it back on the charge. Wyong now. No errors in this set. They'll just be looking to get to their kick. That's Kessler on the carry this time. Wyatt Shaw. Attracting three defenders. He'll play it right on his own 40. Williams now goes to Mullen. Short ball, finds Clark. Williams now out of dummy half. He kicks off the left. Goes down to Donkin, who takes it on the full. Donkin will play it a couple of metres shy of his own 30. We're into the final minute here of the first half. Central Coast Rugby League's match of the round here live on Bar TV Sports. And Sam Paul pokes his nose through. It was Clark who came after him and got him, but too long in the tackle. So King Cumber with a chance here. 36, 35 seconds. They'd want to get a move on. Losing valuable seconds here, King Cumber. There's a wobbly old kick for touch. It finds the line, though. They'll probably get one, maybe two plays at them if they can get a ball. Well, I'm going to say one now. So we've got time off with eight seconds to go. So this will be the last play of the first half. Let's see if they've got a trick shot up their sleeve here, the Colts. Comes to Clark, Clark to Bennett. And they rush up on Bennett, who tries to put the chip over. It's been charged down and caught by Clark. Clark puts the kick in now. The foot race is on. Doubles after it. Sam Paul looks like he'll get there first. Oh, a dodgy bounce for Paul. He does well to pick it up. A little bit of push and shove here after the halftime siren. There was a bit of a, let's call it a flop. To be generous, as tempers flare here at Wyong Rugby League Club. Referee manages to separate both teams. Touch judges in. Let's just listen in here. You boys just push down here behind the goal line. You guys get behind there. We haven't got half time. We've just got time off. I've got it. Okay, late contact on the ground. Stephen, after I've blown my whistle, yep. we're going to have a penalty to King Cumber, yep. and I'll have him on report. Do we have anything different? Right. Thank you. Nathan Clark, thank you. Mitch Williams. So we're going to have a penalty here to the Colts for None. late contact. Right. So we're going to have a penalty for this late. It's going to go on report. Turn the number, mate. Number for the report. The number is Nathan Clark, number eight. Nathan Clark on report. Um, King Cumber will have a penalty here, right on their own goal line. Time's back on. Henderson will take the tap and <laughs> charge into the line. Right, eight, leave it alone. And that'll be half time finally here at Wyong Rugby League Club. In a hotly contested first half. The referee blows for half time. It's Wyong 24 leading the King Cumber Colts 10. Try scorers for Wyong. Jake Lewis opened the scoring. Jake Sakluna across the stripe. Luke Dolble and Mitch Williams adding four pointers. And Josh Mantelato kicking four from four. 
to the King Cumber Colts. Jackson Stubbs and Kyle laying the try scorers. Sam Paul kicking one from two. 24 points to 10 it is at half time. We'll be back here at Wine Rugby League Club after the half time break. Roos are out to make a big impression in the Central Coast Rugby League competition this season with their new major sponsor, Victoria Bitter. The Wyom Roos and BB. A hard-earned performance deserves a hard-earned beer. Cheers. The Roos are proudly backed by a great team of jersey sponsors this season, including Osbrook at Central Coast, Aysworth Gaming, Albury Brown Lawyers, Bella Group and North Lake Spartan Racing. It's the support of great organisations like these to help make the Wyom Roos a force in local rugby league. The Wyong Roos would like to thank more jersey sponsors this season, like Self Mac Mining and Construction, Evolution Security, and 104.5 Star FM. All successful companies who have continued their great support of the Roos in 2019. Feeling hungry? Hot food is available at our canteen. Be sure to grab one of our mouth-watering Billy Pies. We guarantee you'll taste the difference. Team of Jersey sponsors continues to grow each year, so here's a wrap for these terrific companies who have linked up with the Roos this season. Greg Menken Plumbing, Network Interiors, Regnus and Sons Refrigeration, and Sharp DM, Hot Vision Construction, and Zabara. A big thank you from the Wild Roos. This season, there's a great lineup of sponsors that have teamed up with the Wild Roos. Companies like B&B Total Supply, Better Business Advice, Bishop Collins, Citrus Clean, Hill and Carry, The Good Guide, and Lakes Office Choice. Leading local companies backing the mighty Wyong Roos this season. The Wyong Roos would like to acknowledge a big list of outstanding ground sponsors this year, including Be Safe Fire, Booz Motor Group, Design Garages, Flooring Extra, Green Options, Hello World Lake Haven, Booz Juice Lake Haven, John Mary Electrical, Look Pro Photography, Physio Connect, The Reject Shop, Tinsley Medical Group, the Olia, Wycon Sheet Metal, Ryan's Metal Roofing, and Waterbell Dental, all playing a huge part in helping the Wyom Roos on and off the field this year. By supporting the Roos team of sponsors, you'll assist our great rugby league club achieve success this year and into the future. Don't forget you can now enter the club via our football ground. Head inside and grab a schooner of ice cold beer, the freshest on the coast. And can now be enjoyed in the Cherry One OAM Beer Garden while you cheer the ruse on. But remember, please drink responsibly.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Wyong Rugby League Club on this lovely Sunday afternoon, although there is a little bit of a breeze that's kicked up. Still good conditions for Rugby League, Central Coast Rugby League match of the round here on Bar TV Sports. I'm Dan McCamley bringing you all the action. Not too far away from kickoff here in the second half. Wyong 24 leading King Cumber 10. In other games today, the open age, Wyong 26 defeating King Cumber 4. The ladies league tag, Wyong 38 defeating King Cumber 0. And in reserve grade, Wyong 42 defeating King Cumber 6. Just got a message from Graham Tanner. Have you got any other local scores? I'm not too sure if we can get hold of those live scores. We might be able to for you, Graham. We'll do our best. If not, you'll be able to catch the highlights on Bar TV Sports' Facebook page. As Sam Paul gets us back underway for this second half, Wyong inching closer towards the minor premiership. They lead by 14, and they'll have the breeze at their backs in this second half as well. And we saw in the first half how difficult it was for Wong to get out of their own end. Especially there was a 20-minute period in that half where it was all King Cumber. This Rickard will be wrestled to the ground over there on the far side. Wyatt Shaw now looks to bring it back towards the centre of the ground. He's picked up and... Put down gently. Mullen now. He's had multiple touches every set. Mullen. Williams now. Goes to Burriston. Puts it up high. He was taken late there, Burriston. Referee says it's okay. Lang will play a 20 out from his own line. It's Barry now. Not afraid to get in and do the hard work. Barry, the halfback. Lang goes through the hands. That's Roberts. Roberts with a quick play of the ball. Henderson now. Burn back on the inside to Hurd. Hurd will play at 15 shy of halfway. Floating pass there from Henderson finds Shearer. Shearer is met by three and he's wrestled to the ground on his own 40. Last tackle. Henderson, the pressure comes from Williams. Kick sits up nicely there. It'll be Sakluna who brings it back. We've got Mark Byrne down in back play. Trainer out with him at the moment. The referee will stop play so he can receive treatment. As I was saying earlier, penultimate round of Central Coast Rugby League competition next weekend. It's the final round. Sa Sunday, 25th of August, King Cumber taking on Berkeley Vale. Woi Woi versus Northern Lakes. The entrance taking on Terrigal. Erina versus Wyong. That's in first grade action. Marimba with the bye in first grade. I feel like that final place... In the top eight, uh, top five, sorry, top eight. We'll come down to next weekend. King Cumber taking on Berkeley Vale, and you'd think with a win next weekend, they'll 
secure their place in the finals. At the moment, they're up against a red-hot wild team and they're going punch for punch with them. Mahon will play it 12 away last tackle. Williams down the short side. That one's been put on the deck and it'll roll into touch. A little bit too crowded there. That'll be a changeover. Clark with a nice shot on Wiley as Hurd does well to take that one-handed. Brendan Hurd will play it on his own 20. They find a bit of space on that right-hand side. Of one more pass would have seen them in open pastures. Roberts now on the charge up over the 30. to Burn. Burn will be brought down 38 out from his own line. Last tackle. Henderson kicks out of dummy half. Finds the grass. It sits up for the winger. That'll be Sakluna to bring it back. It stumbles a bit. As we saw in the first half, teams running from right to left, really struggling field position wise as they found Rickett in some space on the left touch line. Rickett puts the afterburners on pass back inside. Sits up for Martin. The defence wraps him up. Zane Rickett showing a clean pair of heels. That one bounces. It comes to Mahon. Mahon to Mantelado out to the wing. That's the 19 in Centrone who couldn't hang on to it. So a chance goes begging for Wyong. Cumber will have a scrum feed, 20 out from their own line. Five minutes gone here in this second half. No change to the score from half time. 12, 24 points to 10. Clark to feed the scrum. Goes to Berry. Berry will play it, 22 out from his own line. Henderson now goes to Hurd. Hurd with a good charge. Looking for a penalty. Doesn't get one. Roberts now. This is a better set from the Colts, making some metres up the middle. Henderson to Hurd again. Been busy after half time, Brendan Hurd. Play it just shy of halfway. Henderson now goes to Bennett. Bennett finds Lang. Lang slices through, finds the support. Can they beat the fullback? No, the defense comes across. Good play there from the Colts. Last tackle was Lang again, who's been dangerous all day. Comes to Henderson. Can he beat the man? He gets the flick away to Shearer. Shearer will kick it on the deck to the corner. Sakluna will bring it back. So we've got Williams down now, needing some treatment. He's back to his feet. <coughs> like he might have caught one just underneath the ribs. Williams now just receiving some treatment. Better set there from the Colts. Kyle Lang, impressing on debut, slice through again. Found Blake Donkin on that right-hand side. Centrone now. Not happy with a bit of extra work in the play the ball there, Centrone. Williams goes to Mahon. Mahon slips at the line. Didn't help his cause, that one, as Williams goes down the short side again. Picks up 10. Quick play of the ball. Tane Mahon in a dummy half. Burriston now kicks. Stubbs 
He was a million to one to catch that, Stubbs, and he's, he's done well after the juggle. Stubbs will play at 25 out from his own line. That's the other winger, Donkin, coming across to lend a hand. Berry goes to Burn. Henderson now. And a juggle from Wiley, and Wiley's put it on the deck. It was out in front of him. He had a couple of goes at it and couldn't reel it in. Big cheerio to Sean Pierce, who's tuning in. Thanks for the uh, compliment, Sean. Be a uh, scrum feed here for Wyong, and they lead by 14. They'll have a full set of six inside King Cumber's half. The Colts have any ideas of a comeback here this afternoon? They'll have to hold them out here. Burriston now through the hands to Rickett. And Rickett's rounded up by three Colts defenders. Bennett was one of them over there in the tackle as well as Shiro. Now Shaw will be brought down 40 away from the Colts line. Dolble, short ball, finds Clark. Clark's through, gets the flick away to Centrone, but the ball pops free. King Cumber do well. Sam Paul out of dummy half. Henderson now goes to Hurd. Heard up over the 40. Mantellato out of dummy half. Burriston goes to Shaw. They've managed to keep Wyatt Shaw fairly quiet this afternoon. Molan. That's the 17. Greg Wisham out there. His first touch of the afternoon. Burriston now kicks high. The breeze will take that towards Lang. Lang leaves it for his winger in Duncan, who does well. Chase was good from the ruse, and now King Cumber have to work it away from their own line through Stubbs. Again, good line speed from Wyong. Bennett out of dummy half. I think that's Barry. And they're just struggling to get any go forward here, the Colts. Bennett out of dummy half. Burns another tackle. Come to Hurd through the hands. It'll hit the deck. Stubbs shows and goes. He'll play at 30 out from his own line on the last. So not the best of sets there from the Colts. Comes to Clark. Clark's still going. Clark doesn't want to be wrapped up on the last. Goes to Stubbs. Hurd now with the ball. And a penalty. Wow. Well, they get away with one there. The Colts. Mm -hmm.
Referee laying down the law. And the Colts get a relieving penalty, a fifth tackle penalty as well. They'll have a chance to go on the attack. They trail by 14. 28 to go here at Wyong Rugby League Club. Heard now on the charge. Brendan Heard. Big involvement here early in this second half. They go through the hands to Shearer. Shearer backs his way inside the 20. Burn in a dummy half. Goes to Bennett. The ball's been put on the deck by Bennett. It'll be picked up. Rickett would have scored for sure. Looks like the referee's I'm going to call it knocked down by the ruse, I think. That'll be a scrum feed to King Cumber, 15 away from the Wyong line. Chance here for the Colts to get back into this one. 24 points to 10, they trail. Anderson from the back of the scrum comes across field. Gets the arm free, but couldn't find the support. Burn in at dummy half. Finds Roberts. Roberts has brought down five away in the shadows of the uprights. Henderson goes to the right. Finds Clark. Clark to Bennett. Bennett throws the dummy. Beats the first, but can't beat the second tackler. Henderson again. Comes to Byrne. Byrne will take a settler towards the sticks. Roberts short ball. Good defense there. That was the 14. Kessler in on the tackle as well as Mantelato. Henderson again comes to Clark. Clark finds Paul. Paul finds his unmarked winger. And Jackson Stubbs crosses for his second of the day. And the Colts bridge the gap to 10 points with a kick to come, 24 points to 14. That's Jackson Stubbs' second try of the afternoon and takes him to four tries on the season. And it gives King Cumber a sniff here. Still 25 minutes to go. It was a set that wasn't offering much and then Henderson got out of dummy half, found Clark, and Clark with a beautiful ball to Paul who put him on the outside of his man. It was just a matter of drawing the winger in. Left Stubbs unmarked. Won't score too many easier than that one, Jackson Stubbs. Difficult kick into the breeze here for Sam Paul. He moves in now, strikes it, strikes it well, just doesn't have the legs. Had the direction, but not the power behind that one. Conversion unsuccessful. It's Wyong 24 leading King Cumber 14 here on Bar TV Sports. Match of the round for Central Coast Rugby League. Round 17 action. Mantelato kicks off and 
well taken in there by Clark. Gives it off to Roberts, and Roberts will bring it back outside his 10 on tackle one. Wiley now. Lottie was up quickly to bring him down. Hurt again, up over the 20. Henderson now out of dummy half. Goes for a run himself. Still going, Henderson. It's a good run from the hooker. Lang in at dummy half now. Finds Byrne. Byrne to Shearer. Shearer still wrestling, still fighting for yards. Comes to Bennett, who kicks in behind. Finds touch. Eight in out from the wild line. Good set after points there for King Cubber. I'll see if they can force a mistake here from the Wyong Roos. Berriston to feed. They win the scrum while. Comes to Centrone. Centrone will be brought down. Shy of his own 30. Seclooner out of dummy half. Good legs tackle there from Clark. Mantellato now on the charge. Up over the 40. And brings him down along with Shearer. As Williams now goes to Shaw. Shaw with some nice footwork. He's up over halfway. Takes three of them to bring him down. Williams now. Double bull shot ball to Lottie. Lottie with the offload. Centrone. Yeah, that one did look forward from Mahon. Probably didn't help. Centrone was standing a little bit in front of him. And another let off for the Colts. Just when it looked like Wyong were getting on a roll. King Cumber will have a scrum feed. 32 out from their own line. Starting field position. Not the worst of the half for them. Referee not happy with that scrum, so we'll have another go. Henderson from the back of the scrum looking to sneak through. Mahon wrapped him up. Roberts now tips it on. Finds Hurd. Hurd has it stripped one on one. Jared Kessler dropped off and Mitch Williams pinches it off Hurd. Wong now with a chance to extend their lead. Wisham will play it. Williams. Burriston goes through the hands to Rickett. And four of them converge on Rickett. Plays the ball over there on the far side. Shaw now. Charges up over the 20. Kessler goes through the hands, finds Mantellato who puts it on the deck. He must have had a look, Josh Mantellato. Had a quick peek. Looking for a hole. And again, Wyong. Unable to put King Cumber away. 19 minutes to go here at Wyong Rugby League Club. They lead 24 points to 14, but they've had some opportunities in the last five or so minutes, Wyong. Shearer off the scrum. It's brought down by Shaw and Burriston. 
Roberts. Finding his way up towards the 40. He'll be brought down 35 away from his own line. Berry in a dummy half. Byrne had a target on his chest there and Lottie shot up out of the line. Matt Hurd's back out there in the 11. Berry out of dummy half. And we made to play at five metres inside Wong territory. Last tackle. They go to Bennett. Bennett kicks. It comes off Ricketts back. It sits up for Bennett. Bennett's still going. Rickett comes again. The referee's going to say played at. I think six again here for the Colts. Henderson back inside to Shearer. They can cross here. King Cumber will make things interesting. Henderson now. They've got numbers to the right. Berry throws the dummy for the line. He's only metres away, Berry. Henderson goes to Bennett. To Clark. Clark steps off the left. Runs straight at Lottie. That's ill-advisable. Bennett now. Throws the dummy. Goes himself, Bennett. Wyong holding on here. Henderson in a dummy half. Short ball that's been put on the deck. Byrne couldn't hold on to it. And Wyong will play the ball. Oh, it looks like Bennett's down. Wyong will have a play the ball 10 metres out from their own line. Once play restarts, Bennett just getting some treatment. Uh, 15, Brody Cooper about to make his way onto the field for the Colts. Bennett coming from the field. Wyong get us back underway. Good numbers in the tackle there from King Curran. They force Wyong back. Just the Kluna coming in to do some work. Now Jack Lottie up over the 20. Good charge from the big man. Getting Wyong on the front foot. A little bit of a mouse trap there from the Ruse. Well, as women in league were around, I'm pretty sure it's retro round as well. Mantelato up over the 40. Good set to get out of their own end here from while. 16, Dylan Clark out there. Dolville kicks. Lang comes across and spills it. It's the first little blip on his scorecard today, Lang. As Henderson is down here near us, and there's another. I don't think King Cumber have got enough trainers to attend to all these guys. We've got Henderson down closest to us, and another King Cumber player further in field. Mark Byrne. The player that's down. He's back to his feet now. Both of them back to their feet. So that's good signs for the Colts. Must be some sort of record set today. We've got five different Clarks either playing or coaching in today's game. That has to be some sort of record. Love to know if there's been any more than five Clarks take part in a game before. Makes it easy for the commentator. As they win the scrum, Dolble from the back of the scrum. Dolble will be tough to stop from there. They do well. Speak of the devil, Mitchell Clark. Does well to bring him down. Centrone now. 
Centrone gets the offload away to Williams. Danger signs here for the Colts. Lovely ball. Can they get it down? They do get it down. And that's Dylan Clark. It's a Clarkathon. Dylan Clark with the try. 28 points to 14, and that might just be enough for Wyong today. Twenty-eight fourteen. The King Cumber resistance broken. And Josh Mantelado will add the extras from there. That was off the back of the Kyle Lang. Error at the back. As I said, he's had an outstanding game on debut today, Lang. A little unfortunate for the fullback. Long take full advantage. The uh, crowd on the hill go berserk. Had a tent set up there for the ladies on the hill. They're certainly enjoying themselves this afternoon. Mantelado to add the extras. He does so. 30 points to 14. Five and five for Josh Mantelado. Moves 30 cold to 14. They've hung around for the majority of this one, King Cumber. That try might just be a bridge too far for them now. Still 13 minutes to go. Take a big effort to produce a comeback from here as Paul gets us underway. Goes down to Jack Lottie who charges back into the line. Three of them draped off him. He gets it back up over the 20. 28 out from his own line on tackle one. Greg Wisham now. Takes a second run of the set. Williams out of dummy half. Burriston underneath the shore. Shaw gets the offload away to Clark. Mantelado. We'll play it just shy of halfway. Wyong on a bit of a roll here. Dolbull. Back underneath the Mahon. Tane Mahon will play it inside King Cumber territory. Williams down the short side. Centrone bounces off one. Stubbs got him and he comes again and gets him again. Last tackle, 20 away. Down the short side again. Dolber with a little kick in behind for his winger. Lang comes across. He won't be able to get out of there. Kyle Lang. Centrone's been left on the deck. Looks like he might be clutching at a leg. Let's see on the replay here what happened. He's got knocked sideways, Centrone, and it looked a bit awkward. Tried to get to his feet to play it and went straight back down. In the hands of the trainer at the moment. Cheerio to Christian O'Rourke, who's tuning in. Make sure you let us know who you're cheering for and where you're cheering from. Centrone's back to his feet. He's obviously limping, but getting the thumbs up from the trainer. That's good news for Wyong and Chris Centrone. Does King Cumber get us back underway with a goal line dropout? That one will find the deck. Sits up there for Wisham. And Wisham will play at 32 away. Big Jack Lottie on the charge. Gets the arm free, Lottie. Decides to hold on to it. They're only 15 away. Williams now in a dummy half. Burriston short ball to Shaw. 
Shaw will play it five metres out. Williams back underneath to Rickett. Rickett for the line. He'll score, Rickett. Zane Rickett, too big, too strong from that close. Reaches out and scores the try. 34 points to 14 with a kick to come. Zane Rickett moves to 13 tries on the season. Still eight behind Luke Dolbel, who he'll take some catching. Williams got out of dummy half, and it was Rickett back on the angle. Come a defence went low and he could just reach out and plant the ball over the line. Just ticked under 10 minutes to go here at Wyong Rugby League Club. It's probably Josh Mantellato's toughest kick of the afternoon. He moves in, and the flags are up. Six from six today for Josh Mantellato. 36 points to 14. Nice half dozen for Josh Mantellato. Long 36. Kick number 14. They need to keep fighting here. The Colts, for and against, could come into it. Terrigal can draw level with them on points. Kingcumber have a superior for and against at the moment. As Lottie puts that one on the deck. Looks like Logan Wiley was the one that got the shot on him. We've got time off here with Jack Lottie down at the moment. Terrigal playing Woi Woi today. It's at Terrigal. Currently, well, before the start of play today, Kingcumber had a points differential of plus six, Terrigal minus 48, and they trailed by two points. So, Kingcumber wouldn't want to give up too many more points, and if they can pinch a couple more themselves, you go a long way to playing finals football in 2019. It's Age of Roberts now. Be brought down 20 away. Comes to Cooper. Cooper finds Clark. Clark through the hands to Wiley. Finds Lang back on the inside. Lang will be wrapped up 10 away. Little kick in behind and Byrne will score. Well, that came out of nowhere. Jake Hardman hasn't been on the field long. A lovely little kick in behind. And Mark Byrne falls on it and scores the try. Beautiful little kick in behind by Jake Hardman. 36 points to 18 with a kick to come.
See the kick in behind and Byrne was alert to it. Lovely kick from Jake Hardman. And all Byrne had to do was fall on it and he did that successfully. Over six minutes to go here at Wong Rugby League Club. 36 points to 18. Sam Paul with a chance to add the extras. He moves in and flags go up. 36 points to 20. Just haven't gone away today, King Cumber. It's been a good effort from the Colts. No James Duchatel, no Joel Hullett either. Certainly haven't been disgraced here today at Wong Rugby League Club. They've put up a fight. They've unearthed a Decent fullback in Kyle Lang. I mean, Mantellato to get us back underway. Clark has to backpedal, but he takes it in the end goals. Adrian Roberts will play it 10 metres out from his own line. Wiley now. Hardman in a dummy half. Matt Hurd up over his own 20. Hardman again. Cooper gets absolutely hammered by Wisham and bounces straight back up to the young man's credit. And it's going to be a penalty. Craig Wisham came flying out of the line like a heat-seeking missile. That would have knocked me into next week. Brody Cooper straight back to his feet. He's heard now up over halfway. Matt Heard out there. The Heard boys have been good for King Cumber. That one's dribbling across. Cooper does well to pick it up and be pushed backwards by the Wong defence. Comes to Roberts. Roberts short ball to Wiley. So go through the hands to Cooper now to Lang. Lang can't beat the first man this time. Comes to Byrne. Three tries on the season now for Mark Byrne. Clark kicks him behind. It's a difficult one to deal with. Well picked up there by Martin. Under pressure. Under three minutes to go. Wyong 36 leading King Cumber 20. Been a good contest here today at the Wyong Rugby League Club. Be tough to pick an Ainsworth man of the match from this one. There's multiple try scorers for the Roos. Brock Molan springs to mind. He's heavily involved in basically every set. He's having a rest at the moment. Mitch Williams has been good out of dummy half as well. As for the Colts. Well, the fullback's been great on debut. Both herd boys have been good in the forwards. 
That one goes up high. Lang's underneath it. Mantellato came through. It's gone backwards. It'll be play on. And a penalty to King Cumber. It looked as though Mantellato might have taken his eyes off the ball at the last second. And the penalty goes to King Cumber. So they'll kick for touch. Wiley now charges at Wisham. With under a minute to go, Ainsworth man of the match today will go to Brock Molan. Heavily involved for the Wyong Roos. Congratulations, Brock. Picks up the Ainsworth man of the match today for Bar TV. Hardman in a dummy half. 30 seconds to go in this one. He kicks... Long over the top of Mantellato. Chase is coming through Berry. Mantellato fields the ball on his own goal line and brings it back. Wyong will stay top for another week with this victory. King Cumber will be sweating on the result of the Terrigal Woi Woi game. And it'll come down to the last round of the season to see whether or not they play finals football. They take on Berkeley Vale next week at home. That was a full-time siren in the background. A hard-fought game here at Wild Rugby League Club. It's the Wyong Roos 36 defeat the Kingcumber Colts 20. Try scorers for Wyong. Luke Dobble, Zane Rickett, Jake Sakluna, Jake Lewis, Mitchell Williams and Dylan Clark. All try scorers for Wyong. Josh Mantellato kicking six from six for the King Cumber Colts. Kyle Lang scored on debut. Jackson Stubbs got a double. And Mark Byrne crossed as well. Sam Paul kicking two from four. Well, they went swing for swing with the Wyong Roos. King Cumber, they can be proud of their efforts today. It'll come down to the last round of the season. Make sure you're tuning in next week. Bar TV's match of the round. King Cumber with a chance to play finals football this season if they can finish fifth. And as for Wyong, they'll be playing for the minor premiership up against Erina. I'm Dan McCamley. Make sure you're tuning in next week. Until then, signing off here from Wyong Rugby League Club.